I get the numbers on them too. Look at you. What a So as you can see, this video will be about the Nefarious Willeri, or Nefarious Willeri, tomato to model. Common name is Bandit Gecko, or Bandit Knobtail Gecko. I give you Black Manta. So we received these geckos over a year ago. They're doing fine. We have a pair on display and we have a pair in holding. We're going to go through a rundown of first getting them in from another zoo and then going through the build up and displaying them. So let's go on this ride together and displaying this beautiful Australian species in the Southern Midwest. As you can see here, we have a display where you can see the above ground and the below ground area. So we use the red lights because it's easy to see a nocturnal species as well as not disturbing with the red light. So this is a benefit to them and guests. So this way you really don't have to worry about guests banging on the glass and everything because they can actually see the animals. So this way the animal is comfortable, they can go and they can hide when they need to get away. And then they can hide above or below the earth. So. This is pretty, a uh, pretty sweet idea. The concept came from a group idea, and then we gathered our graphics department. And they put it together for us. So this is behind the scenes from the keeper area, and when we open the, the habitat from our side, and we can check in and see what it looks like from our area. So you can see it's construction of styrofoam with dirt on top. But we have one of the females, she's hiding in the back area. And the male, he usually burrows a lot. They rotate every once in a while, but the male is usually the one that burrows or goes underground, while the female usually stays above top. Now this is a little bit more simple. This is how we have most of our holding habitats. Pretty simple, but it still gives them enough cover. As you can see, we have several different types of hiding areas for them to get away. We have the plastic box right here, where they use sometimes, sometimes they don't, but we'll miss on there, so it's humid. They have the clay pots that they can go in if they want to, but we know they all love those court tubes, those paper tubes, those cork bark tubes, any type of tunnel, that's where they like to hide out. So you see we have a male and female, this is a reserve pair, and we rotate the animals on and off display, so to ease on the stress, and it's a, it's a great enrichment for them to give them different, different habitats every once in a while, I switch it up. But plain and simple, almost like a leopard gecko. Here I pulled off the off display animals to, to do an overall check on them. And they're doing pretty good, very active. And then you can see the male is almost, almost tempted to breed. So he starts doing a lot of breeding characteristics here pretty soon. 
And then he just didn't go through with it, but they just forgot I was there. And so he saw he started to start moving around, but when they can start breeding, things like that means they're very comfortable when they see you're looking at them. Sometimes they don't want people around, but he was tempted, but pretty much she just wasn't in the mood. He didn't force the situation. Now you see the defense posture. I love these little guys. They look like little little pit bulls. Not saying pit bulls are aggressive. Pit bulls are very friendly, but I just love this protector protector ground posture that they give to look bigger than what they are. But these guys are pretty friendly. So here I go, struggling, trying to catch the little male as he squirms, but 
just trying to show you the underside so you can see what a male's bottom looks like compared to the female's bottom. So you can see right there the male parts. And then the female. She gave me a run for my money. I'm not gonna lie. I eventually catch her. And then I can see the bottom, the bottom side of her. And where you saw the male and his parts by his tail, you'll see the female lacks that. Perfect example. And don't worry, I'll show you the picture so you can see both side by side. And yes, the females are larger than the males in this species. And the males are a lot smaller. That's normal. Well, I guess it's time for me to go. They're showing me the door. So until next time, I'll holler.